In this video, we will look at a few examples that will let us practice using the SSS or side 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 triangle congruence shortcut. So in this example A, it says write a triangle congruence statement based on the diagram below. And what you should notice is in this diagram it's marked, or in these triangles, it's marked that all three pairs of sides are congruent. Okay? So that means that these two triangles are congruent by SSS because all three pairs of sides, and that's what the S stands for is side, are congruent. So even though we don't know anything about the angles, that means that the triangles are congruent. So if we want to write a congruent statement, start with the triangle on the left, I'll call it ABC, and then you just want to make sure you match up the letters correctly. So angle A, which is between the one marking and the two markings, matches with angle L, because it's also between the one and the two markings. So I'll put L next. Angle B, which is between the one marking and the three markings, matches with angle M for the same reason. So angle M comes next. And we'll end with angle K, since that's the last letter. In example B, it says, write a two-column proof to show that the two triangles are congruent. Given AB is congruent to DE, so let's mark that, and C is the midpoint of AE and DB. Okay, so C is the midpoint of AE and DB. So if C is the midpoint of AE, Remember that a midpoint is exactly in the middle of the line segment and it sort of bisects it in a way. So AC, we know, will have to be congruent to CE. And similarly, if C is a midpoint of DB as well, that means that CD has to be congruent to BC. Okay. So now notice we have all three pairs of sides are congruent, so we'll be able to say that the triangles are congruent by side, side, side. So let's set up our proof. Remember, in a two-column proof, you want statements on the left and reasons on the right. And you're going to number each statement, starting with your givens. So given is A, B, is congruent to DE, and that's given, and also C, C is the midpoint of AE and DB. And again, that statement is given. That's the way we know that. So because C is the midpoint, that told us two things. It told us that AC was congruent to CE, and also that BC was congruent to CD. And the reason for that is the definition of midpoint. Because C is a midpoint, it is right in the middle of those two line segments, and so we know two pairs of congruent lengths based on that. So now notice in our proof, we've mentioned three different pairs of sides that are congruent. And once you've said three pairs of sides that are congruent, you can use the SSS triangle congruence shortcut. So the last step we're going to say actually now that triangle ACB is congruent to triangle ECD. And the reason is SSS congruence. Because we've shown that there are three pairs of sides that are congruent, the two triangles must be congruent. 